What's going on everybody, I'm Primal Liquid and welcome back to my 100% perfect playthrough for Final Fantasy X. We are on part number 35 right now and uh, well this is going to be probably a bit of a short video because this one is going to be about getting all of the hidden secret cutscenes basically. Now, I have already triggered quite a few of them in um, my previous videos and that, so unfortunately I can't get every single secret uh, in the video basically. Uh, just turn new encounters on. But yeah, unfortunately I can't get every single secret uh, cutscene in this one video because some of them have been triggered throughout the course of the playthrough. But we can still get some of the big ones. Namely, we can get Luzu's secret cutscene right here in Besaid. So that is, of course, what we're going uh, to do right now. How you doing, Luzo? How you doing, buddy? What you having you a good time? Out here? Watching for fiends. We crusaders must protect the village. Even if we cannot defeat Sin, we do what we can. Leave Sin to us. We'll think of something. Then you should pray before you go. I don't want to pray. Leave the island, pray for safe passage over there. Gata always refused, though. Well then, I will too. Eh? Who needs hokey old superstitions? Exactly, Titus. I won't pray, and I'll beat Sin all the same. <laughs> well, I guess you have the spirit. I do indeed. Mm. It's like Titus is technically nothing but a spirit. So, you know, what can you do? Flying ship gave Sin a good chase. Yeah, we, we did. Let your guard down. Eh, he's not that evil. All we can do is pray that this... Yeah, don't worry, the ship of the skies will defeat Sin. It's fine. Okay, so one hidden cutscene out of the way, and now we're going to go ahead and get to uh, the next, basically. And if you don't know, we basically, uh, we kind of just need to go and speak to all of the faith in the actual uh, the temples. We can actually get extra cutscenes with them. Uh, you can do this pretty much straight after seeing... Oh, what's his name? Uh... Mr. Mycar in Baval. So, you know, like, once he disappears and whatnot, you can actually go to pretty much any of the temples and speak to the faith for an extra cutscene and some items. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Now, these are... Uh, they do actually teach you some good stuff, to be honest. Like, they do teach you uh, a fair few things about the actual... Uh, Law of FF10, should I say. So let's go ahead and just turn on the speed or booster. Do I have to redo the cloisters? Oh, I do. God damn it. I can't remember having to redo the cloisters, though. I definitely could not remember having to do that. That's super annoying. I hope it's only Besaid I have to redo. Although at least I don't have to worry about getting the... Uh, the destruction sphere. I can sort of just plow on through. Give me the sphere. Oh yeah, I think I need the Besaid sphere actually, which is in here. Give me the Besaid sphere. Gimme, 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 gimme. No, destruction sphere. God damn it. It's like I'm so used to doing this and getting the reward, man. It's like, I can't even remember how to do this without getting the actual treasure. Hey, is the wall fixed? The wall's fixed? Huh. Hey, what happens if I complete it with the destruction sphere again? Huh. Ha ha ha. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. I don't think you get any more items. I'm 99.999% sure you don't get any more items. I actually can't remember. I don't think you do. I think it's just going to be the usual chest that's uh, already empty. Yeah, see, it's already empty. Oh, well, let's go say hello to Veilfer's Faith, shall we? Obviously, this is one of the, uh, the faith you never get to see when doing the actual story. And by the time you can speak to the faith, uh, it's blocked off by Dark Veilfer. So, not many people have actually seen uh, 
Veil for his faith. So, enjoy the surprise. Let's just turn fast forward off so you can all enjoy this lovely little room. So, there you go. Enjoy, take it all in. And off we go to say hello to the faith. Let me in. Hey, Veilfa, what's going on? Sin is cursed. Such a little girl. Sin prays. It curses its form. It prays for dissolution. Sin sees dreams of its own destruction. Sin is looking at us. We live in a fading echo of time left us by the Destroyer. Free him from you, Yevon. Free him. The faith that has become sin. And there's the item. So, as you guys heard, uh, it's basically a bit more of a backstory on you, Yevon, like how sin's created. All that good stuff, and obviously there's a bunch of items in the actual faith room as well. And this is actually going to be the case for every single, uh, like, chamber of the faith, basically. So we just have to go around and see them all. Which is naturally exactly what we're going to do. Unfortunately, there's no save point in Besaid, though. So, oh wait, yeah, there is actually. There's one in the Crusader Lodge. Oh well, doesn't really matter. We're already up at this one now anyway. Okay, so the next destination is obviously going to be Ifrit, which is in Kilika. So let's go say hello to our old buddy, shall we? Yeah, here we go. Oh, okay. We're just kind of going to skip everything going on in Kilika right now, though. And sort of just run all the way up. Man, I love no encounters. It's such a nice booster. It's like I could have farmed for purifying salt and put it on an armor, but then I'd have to mess around like just unequipping and equipping the armor constantly. So I'd much rather just uh, press a button and be done with it. Okay, in we go to Ifrit. Oh, we're going to have to do this cloister again, aren't we? I bet you we're going to have to do the cloister again. Are we going to have to... Yeah, we're gonna have. Ah! God damn it, man! I hate these cloisters, and I've got to do them all over again. <sighs> Sigh. It's like I bet you I'm gonna subconsciously do all of these as if to get the uh, destruction sphere reward as well, just because I seriously cannot remember how you actually do them without getting the reward. Oh my god. No, I don't want to move that. Okay, touch the glyph. Can I like, just run up and step on the button to teleport the pod there? Yeah, I mean, I got it somewhat close, I guess. Not amazing, I would have preferred it closer, but what can you do? What can you do? Alright, and I'm going to need a fire sphere. Oh, convenient. Oh, I moved it too far. Oh, no man. It's still uh, locked in for me. But I need a fire sphere for it. RIP! God damn it, man. God damn it. It's like, I pretty much am doing this in the route of uh, getting the destruction sphere reward as well. I'm not going to do it again, though. There's no need to do it again. Wait, did I even need to move? I don't think I actually even had to move that damn pedestal. No, I didn't, because that... Oh, oh, I've done it again, guys. I've, do I've actually done it again. I've actually done it to the point where I can literally just complete the puzzle. Oh, my God. Oh my god. I'm not doing it. I'm not moving the destruction sphere. I will not do it. I will not do it. 
I tell you what though, it just comes to something like that is how many times I've played this game to where I just instinctually like complete the puzzle properly instead of just doing it the quick way. Like that is yeah, that just that says something I think. Okay. Ifrit cutscene, let's go. How you doing, Ifrit? How you doing, buddy? Oh look at that small chibi Ifrit. And look, it's a crusader. Sin swam in the sea near Xanarkand. Perhaps the waking dream eased its suffering. Your father touched Sin and became real that night, foundering in the seas of Spira. How sad now that he's caught in the tragic spiral. He is Sin. He is lost. Oh, okay. And Ifrit basically just explains uh, basically how uh, Jekt actually got to uh, Spira from Dream Xanarkand. So, obviously, Sin finds peace with the uh, the Dream Xanarkand. So, Sin does often cross between the uh, the two borders of reality and the Dream Xanarkand. And we already know that uh, Jekt was actually out to sea training when uh, he disappeared. So that's how he came into contact with Sin and was basically transported out of the dream to reality. So again, nice little bit of lore there. But now it's time to uh, move on to the next one, which is going to be Ixion, aka Jose. We're counting. So let's head on over there then. Uh, Jose. Yeah, here we go. Unfortunately, we do have to run all the way around, though. Yeah, it's like you'd really think, that, like, with all these save spheres everywhere, there would actually be teleport points everywhere. But no, that'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Okay, and in we go to Jose. This is probably a really annoying puzzle though, like I'm, I'm not going to be uh, a fan of having to redo this one. The Cloister of Trials. Are you prepared? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Oh man, goddamn cloisters, goddamn cloisters. You'd think doing them once would be enough for a playthrough. No, I don't want to do anything to the sphere. It's like, I, I must admit, I really do wish that like you could just enter like where like just where that guy was who said like are you prepared yada 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 i wish we could basically just teleport from there to the room of the faith you know well that would be too easy now wasn't it ay, ay, ay. no i don't want to interact with that one i want to create the chain to create a super all powerful uh sphere Man, I really couldn't think of the word there. Oh my god. Guys, I am absolutely 100% not doing the destruction sphere one. Not gonna do it. I am not gonna do it at all. Totally not gonna do it. Power me up! I'm a fire in my losers! Okay. Take the big glowing ball of electric energy in my uh, hand. Well, saying that he is wearing a glove, so I, I suppose technically it could insulate him. But at the same time, there's still a lot of electric in this place, you know? It's like you'd kind of think it'd be a little dangerous, especially with how little uh, experience seem to wear. No, why does it keep trying to reinteract? Oh man, I've got the hiccups again. Okay, push this up. I have to admit, this is probably uh, the most boring part of a perfect playthrough. Just going back to all the temples again. It's like, I'm not gonna lie, I literally prefer grinding like Blitzball and Sphere Levels. Uh, sphere Levels? Um, I prefer grinding uh, Blitzball and 99 items compared to redoing all of this. 
That is just how much I hate the Cloister of Trials, man. It's like, I am not a fan of them at all. Okay. Close the door. It's like, gotta close the doors behind you guys. It's only polite manners. And bring the pedestal back. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie though, these cloisters are so boring. There's only so much you can uh, entertain yourself when doing them. Especially when doing them all back to back to back. It's like, yeah, it's not fun when doing them like that. For sure. Okay, I'm not going to touch that glyph. I'm not going to touch that glyph. I'm going straight up. Because I've got to save them four seconds. Okay, plug all of these in. Come on. You know what, though? I don't like long cutscenes. I'm going to put times eight speed on. And I'll turn it off for the actual cutscenes. Like now, so turn times eight off. Turn times four off. And in we go to Ixion. Why didn't I actually think about doing times eight speed before though? Why did it take me until the third cloister? Hey, what's going on Ixion? That's a funky looking horn, bro. It's an old man. For a long time, we've forgotten how to go forward. You reminded us we must go forward. Yes, we must run. Let us go. You will share our dreaming. Okay, so not really a whole lot of lore story in that one. That one's more just a case of uh, reiterating, like, the Faith no longer want to dream, they want to hurry up and end it. You know, all that sort of stuff, basically. So, uh, Ixion is really not a, uh, a lore-heavy Faith, basically. But we still have a couple more to go. So let's go ahead and do them, shall we? Board airship, because the next one we're going to be doing is Makalania. You're counting. Oh, thank you, Sid. It's always nice to know you're counting on me. It's like, I know you've only told me about 400 times, but it, it's still nice to hear, you know? Like, it's still nice to hear. Okay, times four speed. Let's go. In fact, you know what? Times four is too slow. Let's do times eight speed. It's like, we'll go supersonic here, baby. Oh, yeah. Look at that speed increase. Look at that lovely speed increase. Okay. And now we'll just turn times eight off. So, obviously, when we fought uh, Dark Shiva here, we couldn't really uh, go back in then. Once you leave the area, though, you can't actually come back here. And uh, in we go to Shiva. Wait, is it going to remake me? Like, is it actually going to make me... Do yeah it is. <sighs> I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. I was really, really, really hoping that would not happen. At least Mokalonia is easy. Like it's nice and quick when you're not going for the destruction sphere. Okay, so whoops. Now obviously uh, this is where we fought see more. So, we're actually going to go outside this time. Because the Faith Chamber is uh, further on. And you can actually see this path from, um, like, the other pathway when you're sort of running around on that. But you have to look really, really carefully. 
And here's the real chamber of the faith. By the way, notice on the uh, the map you've got that a uh, little bit. That's actually at the very top. However, right below here is actually where you are on the ocean floor as well. Okay, and in we go. How you doing, Shiva? That ass, though. The scars on the back, though, as well. And she looks like such a prude, man. Should the dreaming end, you Whoa, what's going on with the frame rate? Fade into spirit what the spirit hell? Sky. But do not weep, nor rise okay, my... CPU and GPU are fine. What the hell happened to the frame rate there? It's tanking again. Why is it tanking? Okay, I'm guessing this cutscene is just like really horribly made. Wow, that was tanking. It's like, that actually dropped me all the way down to like 5 FPS. And keep in mind, I'm on a Ryzen 7 2700X and a 2080 Ti. It's like, that should never happen. No matter what, I should never, ever drop below. Well, I should never, ever drop to 5 FPS. Especially on a game like this. That is just insane. Oh, and I've got to use the cell. <laughs> Why can't that save point be here from when I beat Seymour? I could board the airship then. But well, yeah, I've got to... <laughs> I've got to do this all over again. God damn it, man. God damn it. Hmm. Oh, well. Wait. Am I going to have to do Bahamut's again? Am I actually going to have to do Baval's Cloister all over again? I don't think I am, actually. I think I can just sort of cheat and go straight to the Chamber of the Faith there. Wait, does Bahamut even have an actual cutscene? I can't remember if Bahamut actually has a cutscene. Ah, oh, I need to take the Green Sphere out first, don't I? Yes, I do. Well, I need to put the Green Sphere in there anyway. Okay, at least, like, at least Mokolonia is a quick one, you know? It's like, there's really not much to worry about. A lot of the time for Mokolonia comes when you're actually doing the, uh... Oh, what do you call it? The Destruction Sphere. It's like, that's where almost all of the time in Mokolonia goes to. Because, I mean, you have to actually complete the puzzle to leave before you can even start working on the Destruction Sphere side of things. So, I suppose there is that. Let's just put times four speed on those. Speed this up. Oh, for some reason. Oh, wait, yeah, I've got task manager open still. Times four. Okay. And away we go now. Now we can blitz it. Wait. I'm forgetting one. Which one am I forgetting? Oh, I'm forgetting the one down the bottom, aren't I? I didn't push it in, did I? Or did I push it in, actually? Hmm. <laughs> Which one am I forgetting? No, oh, so that one's in there. That's the one I'm forgetting. That's the one I'm forgetting. Wait a minute. Yeah, I am forgetting that one. There we go. Man, I really zoned out there. It's all these cloisters, man. They're getting to me. They're getting to me. There's, it's just too many cloisters in one go. Okay. At least we're done with Makalania Temple. It's like, we're done with the Macarena, and I need to absolutely 110% make sure I do not touch that goddamn teleporter. So 
Like, I really do not want to touch that. Okay, now we can finally leave. We're out. We're done. Safe me aboard the airship. Okay, let's go to Bahamut now. And... Where are we? Baval, Baval, Baval. High bridge. I don't even remember if I can still actually see... Oh yeah, I forgot about this cutscene as well. Hold there. This bridge is closed. It's all right, Maroda. Bavel is off limits by the temple's decree. No one may enter. <laughs> I'll have you know, I huh? will enter. Everyone's in mourning since Maester Micah died. And it's been mourning for days now. Passe. At least that's what they say. The temple's falling apart with all four maesters gone. They're afraid of riots, so they're turning everyone away. With our brother in the middle. What's up with Isaru? They came crying to him to stay in Bavel, to protect the temple and all that. And you know our brother. It's not in him to refuse. Oh, I guess our pilgrimage is done then, huh? His pilgrimage was of done when not. I beat him. Jeez. Long story short, you'll only find trouble in Bavel. I'd stay out for your own safety. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, wait, it's kind of forcing me to stay out. Do I have to leave first and then come back? Let's have a look, see. Oh, okay, back in we go. That whole bit about Yuna being a... I just can't believe it. No, no, no. It's not an Albert rumor. Okay, yeah, I can't actually get back to Bahamut. Huh, I could have swore there was still a cutscene with him. Well, I guess not. Oh, well... Move on to the next one. Wow, what's going on with performance again? It's tanking. What? Uh, let me check temperatures. Like, let me check temperatures. So this is getting a bit iffy now. This is getting a bit iffy. Okay, temperatures. Uh... A little warm, but I mean, nothing too bad. Like, it's only 50 degrees. The CPU is, the GPU is 50 degrees as well, so, well, temperatures are fine. Hmm. Yeah, well, at least there's not too many left to go, so I can investigate it in detail soon. But there's still one more we can do, because we can actually go ahead and see the, uh, the lovely sisters. Well, first we need a chocobo. Oh yeah, I've still got to do Remy and Temple. Damn. Not looking forward to that one. Still got to make the uh, chocobo guide as well, actually. At least the chocobo guide won't take long. So that one will be super easy to make. Like, I think I've already actually got the MGs ready for it as well. Let me in! Let me in! Okay, and in we go. Let's go see the sisters! And there goes the performance! 7 FPS, what is going on with this game at the moment? Why couldn't we see to stop the training? Why did we stay on in Spira? We had forgotten for so long. We had forgotten to move forward. We had forgotten to change. And there we go. Okay. I don't think we can see any more. I'm gonna check uh, your Jimbo anyway. It's like, well, there's only two left anyway, which is your Jimbo and Animus, so I'll double check them both. But I'm fairly sure they don't You're actually, uh, they don't have one. But I will go ahead and check them real quickly. Uh, Gagazet. Yeah, I suppose that'll be the quickest teleport. Because I can just go south. Oh, okay, so now we're just going to run all the way through Cavern of the Stolen Faith. 
Now, I'm fairly sure Yojembo does not have an extra cutscene. It could be wrong, but I'm fairly, fairly sure he doesn't. I think it's only the main cloister, well, like, the main temples that have the extra scenes. Let's have a looky. Oh no, he does have a scene. Hey, what's going on, Jimmy? You are a fading dream, but one touched by reality. Spirit will not forget its reality, nor the one who saved it. Run, dream, run on. Pass beyond the waking. Walk into the daylight. And there's another one done. Also, fun fact, I've just found out why uh, performance is tanking. So, I've no idea why, but for some reason, when we uh, watch these uh, cutscenes in the temple, my GPU usage just suddenly skyrockets to 100%. And keep in mind, like, a game like FF10 on a 2080 Ti, like, trust me when I say it barely uses 5 to 10% normally. So, yeah, they are horribly, horribly programmed. It's like, it should never, ever do that. So, they are, that's definitely a big issue with the, uh, the PC version of the game, I think. I dread to think what it's like on the PS4, though. It's like, I know the PS4 has a lot of crashes, but if it's that one optimized on PC... Then yeah, there's uh, there's probably going to be issues on the PS4 as well and Xbox actually because it's on Xbox now as well. Okay, one more cutscene. Okay, no, there's no cutscene for Anima. God damn you, woman! God damn you, come here! It's like I'll, I'm walking on your grave. I will walk on your grave. Shame you can't crouch off. Why is that teabag you too? Oh, well then, so that is all of the secret little court scenes. Again, there's... Okay, there we go. Again, it's not really, uh, like, anything too amazing in that. It's basically just a little bit of background lore on uh, things. You know, it's like, it's more for the uh, the completionist than anything. And, whoops, I went uh, one screen too far. But either way though guys, I uh, I hope you enjoyed them if you've never seen them before. With that said though, I am going to be ending this video right here. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button and leave a comment down below letting me know if you have or have not seen all of these scenes before. But like always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.